What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Neon Trash. I'm your host, Tommy the Hammer. Tonight, I've got Dean, Hayes, and Rocket flanking me on my right and your left. Is that right? Flank I think left? so. Something like that. Flanky McFlankerson. But we've been covering a lot of old school 1980s childhood classics on the channel. Hell this yeah, week. I love them. And we've also been touching <laughs> on some Japanese art house cinema. So tonight, I thought I would bust out another movie. Have you guys heard of The Fox and the Hound? Yeah. Well, we're not watching that movie. We're oh. watching a, a film called Zombie Ass Toilet of the oh Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> it has everything to do with Fox and the Hound, doesn't it? Totally Fox and the Hound. She is toilet. What? This is. Wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. <laughs> it's called Zombie Ass Toilet of the Dead. Jesus this is, Christ. Wow. This is a Tokyo Shock movie, and it's uh, released by Media Blasters blue screen, there's going to be fecal zombies, there's going to be blood mm, squibs. Fecal, my Fun favorite. fact, with this movie, the girl in the outhouse apparently really has diarrhea. So we're going to be looking for that scene. And without further ado, motherfuckers, Tommy Boy. What? Kick off the trailer, <laughs> peep that shit, we'll be right back, motherfuckers. That's the first time Rocket didn't try saying something <laughs> during that scene. <laughs> I think he's too shocked. Uh, bon appetit, bitches. Hell, fecal. This is most of the jazz movie. I'm writing everything. It's only a movie. Only a movie. Only a movie. They wake up. 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 Watching zombie ass toilet of the dead. I feel like I broke just about every motherfucker in this room with this choice. Real well, quick. I'm not broken, I'm just tired. They're that tired. Dude. <laughs> this movie asks a lot of the viewer. Um, it's got just about everything you could imagine in terms of an offensive, bizarre, weird uh, cult movie. And you know, on one hand, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm being perfectly honest with myself, I love this type of weird, avant-garde, low-budget shit fest. On the other hand, literally, I understand. Literal understatement right there, honestly. I, I understand why some people would not like it. <laughs> so, with that being said, I feel like it was fun, and there was moments where <laughs> there's certain scenes in this movie. I have never seen before in a film. Oh. John needs a drink for this one. I told you I broke people. I just needed a moment there to think about what I had to say about <laughs> this. And like, I don't know, this is, it's truly left me speechless because there's so much. Oh man. Like, I mean, I guess I, I, I'll boil it down to this. 
I honestly hate the fact that I like this movie too. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm disgusted with myself for enjoying this piece of cinema. <laughs> it's filthy. And it's so gross, but it's so much fun. <laughs> like... Wow. It's, it, man, is this thing walk a razor-thin edge, honestly. Like, between just the all-most disgusting ridiculousness to, like, actual, like, well-written story and amazing cinematography mixed in with some pretty decent CGI and awesome action? <sighs> Are you crippled? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, let's just talk about Jap I mean, Japanese shock. Tokyo shock? Tokyo already? shock, yeah. yeah. Tokyo shock. Yeah, Tokyo shock. It, yeah, it definitely Tokyo shocked my ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <sighs> there are scenes I'm just like, wow. Really? Shit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Shit. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of it. There were funny aspects to it, yes. There was a little over the top, yes. There was some kick ass. Fight scenes, yes, but man, was there a lot of shit. <laughs> you got some porn directors and some anime directors, and they hung out with Sam Raimi, and they made a movie, and that's <laughs> basically what this is. Like, <laughs> hey, yeah, that's way not too far off the of mark. Yeah, uh, that's pretty spot on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do think that the first half of the movie is way more disgusting than the second half. Like, That's right. That's just true. straight up gross out. Like, I I kind of like when I watch a movie, I like do my best to like feel what like they would feel like in that situation, and you shouldn't do that with this movie. <laughs> yeah, it is it is fucking disgusting. <sighs> like, I I think the part that really disgusted me was like when they finally became zombies and like this dude had like this like yellowish almost brown like film over his face that you know was apparently diarrhea Ugh. and yeah it got to me a little bit you know it's like we it's just gross. Ate, just ate some pizza and <laughs> like we were drinking beer and it's like uh he's caked with fucking like anal anal liquid Anal and some leaking. leaking across his face that like, like waist through so you can see him. Yeah. All right, so Zombie Ass is definitely a unique film. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Tokyo Shock. I like this subgenre. Out of 10 stars, I think I could give Zombie Ass and keep them on, boys. I like this type of filthy ass cinema. I'm giving it a solid six and a half. Strong seven out of 10. Haze. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well... My first real Tokyo shock right here, so I don't know what to think half the time. <laughs> so honestly, uh, I'm between like a three and a four. Oh! Because okay. just, just all it's just, it's like, wow, what the hell did I just watch? Like it says on the back here. What, what the, the hell did I just watch? No, what the fuck did I just watch? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much how I feel. It's just utter shit. So, oh, we're going Jedi. to rocket! <laughs> Where are you at, homie? I give it an eight. Oh, Whoa. you haven't seen it, me? Oh. I, 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 the way this was, if, if you can get through the first part of the ultra disgustingness, you actually get a pretty decent payoff of this. I agree. Like, if, if you can really, like, kind of look past some of it and delve into the way they developed the story, the actors in this, like, there's some great characters, the one honestly. Guy. Like, the, there's enough positives to allow me to take focus away from the just sheer horror and disgustingness <laughs> of this film. This movie is the fucking worst. But it's also the best. I'm giving it a seven. Oh! <laughs> it's really gross, but it's a lot of fun. Oh! Like, by, by the end, you're just like... It's so stupid, it's great. You're on board! That's the thing! And I feel like everyone's uh, star counts are warranted, even Hayes' here. I need a shower. <laughs> That's the takeaway! That's the takeaway! You'll either love it or you'll hate it. And we were all talking about this movie during it. Like, what's the point of it? I feel like this movie's about breaking boundaries. For the viewer. It it's, broke wind more than boundaries. It breaks wind and it breaks boundaries. Like, how... How 
gross can we get? Exactly. <laughs> How absolutely disgusting can we get? Like, they had to bring it with the rest of the movie as far as, you know, production goes and your costuming, your set designs, your soundtrack, you, the story, like, actors. Yeah, everything else is, like, really kind of top-notch, honestly. Exactly. So they can get away with the sheer disgusting filth of this movie. Like, and I gotta say, I enjoyed it, and I'm I'm glad that I got to watch it with my boys. I hope you've been informative, motherfuckers. Until the next time, tune in to them dirty, dirty motherfucking trash boys. See you, motherfuckers.